Did you know that 70% of American homeowners own at least 50% equity in their house? But because of the current market conditions, a lot of those homeowners feel trapped with where they are in that house. They don't feel like they can sell it because everything else has gotten too expensive and interest rates have gone up. If you've been holding on to your house for years, it's likely that you've built up some serious equity in the house, but maybe you're feeling stuck because you locked into that sweet, sweet, sweet 3% mortgage rate a few years back and you don't wanna trade that up and I get it. Well, here's the good news. Whether you wanna trade up into a bigger house, something like this behind me, or you wanna downsize to something more manageable, you can make the move in today's market without a huge jump in your monthly payments or possibly you can even see a reduction in your monthly payments. Today, we're gonna jump into some real world examples and I'm gonna show you guys the numbers on how exactly this can work. Let's get into it. All right, let's talk about trading up first. Now I'm in a little two bedroom home here in Fort Mitchell, Kentucky. And as you can see, it's a bit dated. It needs a little work. It's actually been sitting on the market because I'm not gonna lie. It smells a little bit like cat urine in this house and these carpets aren't the best. But let's say you bought a home like this as your first starter home, a two bedroom or a three bedroom. And maybe you had no kids. Maybe you had one kid, but now you have another kid or two more kids or three more kids. And it's like, you're feeling a little tight. You're feeling a little cramped. You know, you've owned this house for few years and it's worked out great for you, but you need some more space. All right, there are a lot of numbers and a lot of real world examples you could use, but let's use a trading up example where let's say you bought a three bedroom home 10 years ago and you refinanced that into a 3% loan when rates dropped really low. You originally bought that house for $300,000 and your monthly mortgage payment is about $1,000. Now I get it, $1,000 a month for your housing is amazing. And you're like, look, those rates aren't coming back again. I don't wanna trade that up, but you're feeling the pinch, you're feeling the squeeze, the kids are loud, you're working at home more, and it's like, we need more space, our family is growing, we need to upsize. Um, I would be surprised if they do. <laughs> the, um... <laughs> The bad news is houses today are a lot more expensive. The good news is you've owned your home for 10 years and that $300,000 house you bought 10 years ago is now worth $500,000. And those numbers are based on appreciation of 5% a year. So let's say you wanna build your dream home. This is where it gets really exciting. You could build this gorgeous, brand new construction, four bedroom dream home with that equity that you're getting from selling your first starter home. So let's say you take all that equity you have from selling that first home, you put down a larger down payment, your new monthly mortgage on a house like this or a house that's around $600,000 could be as low as $1,264. You were paying $1,000 before, you're paying $260 more now, but you're getting a brand new, beautiful home, much more square footage, much more room for everyone to spread out. Maybe you were at a three bedroom, 1500 or 1800 square feet before. Now you're at something like 2500 with a basement, maybe 2800 square feet, room for the kids to run around, room for, to put the kids in the basement or play in the backyard, maybe room for a better home office for you, room to breathe. So whether you're looking for more space for your growing family, or maybe you just want to upgrade, this strategy is great because it allows you to trade up without a huge bump in your monthly payment, makes it more manageable, and you get all the benefit of a beautiful new home. All right, now I wanna to talk to all of you who are thinking about downsizing. Maybe you're a baby boomer and you've lived in a neighborhood like this. This is in Edgewood, Kentucky, but there are neighborhoods like this all over Northern Kentucky and Cincinnati, homes that are about maybe 20, 30 years old, whether it's here in Edgewood or on the Ohio side, you're talking about Anderson Township, Florence, Kentucky, Union, Kentucky, Mason, Westchester. A lot of these homes that where you've been in the house maybe 15, 20, 30 years or more, and you've raised your kids in that house, but you don't need all of that space anymore. What should you do? Let's say you've been living in a house like this one. It's a four bedroom house and you bought it for, let's say $400,000 15 years ago. Well, now you've got all that equity appreciation and it's worth $800,000 today. And not only do you have equity appreciation, but you also have the amortization of the loan. So let's say you've paid it down from 400 to 200. You now have $600,000 of equity in the house. And the question is, you don't need all this space anymore. So what do you wanna do with that $600,000? You've got options. 
Now this home, everything is a little bit dated, but at least it does have that first floor primary bedroom, so you don't have to be going up the stairs, but a lot of these houses don't. They have that bedroom on the second floor, so you're getting a little bit older, your knees are getting a little bit achier, you don't wanna go up those stairs anymore. Maybe you wanna downsize into a single level ranch home that's smaller and put that equity to use somewhere else. So what you could do is downsize to a brand new, beautiful ranch home like this one. This is the Calvin by Fisher Homes, their model home here in Tuscany, in Covington, Kentucky. This house is great. It's got that first floor living. Plus you could have a finished basement. You've got room downstairs for the grandkids, but overall a lot less house to maintain. So if you bought something like this at around $450,000, you put 20% down, you are dramatically reducing your monthly payments. With your previous mortgage, you were at about $1,400 dollars a month but now you're somewhere around 948 dollars a month or you could just take all that equity and pay it off in cash because you had 600 in equity you still got 150 thousand left over you can put that towards travel you could put that towards retirement you could do whatever you want to do with that money maybe even downsizing is the wrong term i was just talking to the fisher sales model there and a, a term that they use a lot i guess it's a sales pitch is right sizing because really you're not downgrading in terms of quality of life you're just transferring the equity you have in the larger home you're right sizing into a home that has better or nicer and newer amenities than your previous home. All right guys, so whether you're thinking of trading up or downsizing or maybe right sizing, the key to making it all work is the equity that you've built up and understanding how to leverage that in the current market. Now we all know that home prices and interest rates are higher than they were a few years ago, but there are some recent drops in interest rates. We're seeing a trend line of them coming back down. So there are some real opportunities for you to use your equity and make a move without dramatically changing your monthly payment. Hey guys, my name is Eric. If you've been wondering what your next step should be or how to take advantage of that equity, reach out to us at Team Stanio. We would love to help you out. Whether it's upsizing, downsizing, or somewhere in between, we wanna help you navigate that choice that makes the most sense for your life and where you're at right now. If this video was helpful for you, please share it with someone, like it, subscribe to the channel for more great real estate content here in the Cincinnati and Northern Kentucky area. And if you're looking to buy or sell or you know someone who is, reach out to us directly at info at teamstanio.com. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Hooday, let's go Bengals. We'll see you in the next one.